Sparks came about following a conversation that I had with a good friend of mine who's a general practitioner. What we've realised over the last couple of decades is that depression is very common in the community and it starts in mid-adolescence with rates climbing very steeply between the ages of 15 and 18. And we also know that about three quarters of young people who suffer from low mood during this time never get any help for this. And she and I were talking about how we might change that and she said to me, I think you should put cognitive behavioural therapy onto a CD-ROM so that I can run it into my general practice. And that kind of set the scene and here we are 10 years later with Sparks Online. Welcome to Sparks. Sparks is an online self-help tool. It uses a fantasy game format, so the idea is to try and get help across using techniques that we usually use in therapy, using a fantasy game format so you can choose an avatar and go into a fantasy world and undertake a number of challenges. My brief was to develop uh, something quite interactive for young people that was different from the other um, e-therapy tools out there. Uh, we knew we wanted to make it interactive and animated and quite fun. One of the challenges with creating Sparks was that we needed to make sure that it was applicable to Māori young people. So we wanted to ensure that there was characters within the game that not only spoke some reo, but they also had perhaps a, a Māori accent. We've tested Sparks in a clinical trial and we've shown that it's very effective. It's as good as the sort of treatment that young people usually get in face-to-face -face counselling. And it's also been very popular both with young people, but we've also had a lot of international attention about it. As a parent, one of the most common things I would have ever said to my children is time to get off the computer now. So I went into this not knowing if it would necessarily work and actually I've been blown away by how well it's worked. I tried it with young people who don't normally go to counsellors and mental health services who don't necessarily like talking about their feelings. They said things like, it's changed how I feel, I don't hate anymore. Um, now I'm getting on my, with my life instead of fighting all the time. The best part about this game is it's a virtual world where you don't have to be yourself, you can be someone different. It gets rid of all of the tense situations in your life, all of the exams, all of the tests, all of the bullying. It's just you and the game. It's a self-help tool, so in a sense doing it in the comfort of your home. It gives you the courage to sort out your problems, face your problems and may even enable you to take another step and talk to someone. What I think is really great about the game is that it takes what may seem like really huge and impossible problems and breaks them down for you into small steps you can take and makes finding a solution seem achievable. I think sometimes we need to be really aware that young people need tools and pathways and steps to, to get through problems that maybe we take for granted, you know, um, as part of growing up, but for them they're big issues. So Sparks gives them a practical way to go through those steps and I think if they can do that, then they'll be much more resilient about problems they're going to you know, face in life. To have this resource available to young people independent of where they live uh, is a really big thing. Uh, I grew up in rural New Zealand um, and I think a resource like Sparks would have been really helpful for me when I was younger. Sparks offers a new way of dealing with depression. The biggest message here is you don't have to put up with feeling bad. You can do something about it. Here's another tool, another opportunity to change things, to take control. Thanks to the funding from the Prime Minister's Youth Mental Health Initiative, Sparks is available right across the country for all young people to use. And anybody can log on to www.sparks.org.nz and it'll be there for you to use.